Ashley Flavor Day sale is ending soon. Thousands of items are in stock and ready for fast delivery. Save big on summer. Oh my God. Oh, guys, it has been a week, but we're here, ready to do some streaming, ready to have some fun, but it's time to have some fun with something new in the hood, my bros. Let me make sure I can actually talk about this. Uh, breakfast. I'm pretty sure I can talk about it. I don't think anyone's going to have a camera. You just shared the products on stream as soon as... Okay, all right, cool. I'm good to go. All right, guys. So let's have some fun here today. But before we do, we know what's going to go down. This stream, it's brought to you by Boom Sneak Energy. It's in the bag. I don't know why that's the tagline, but it is. And with that, we're going to do a live tape taste test. A live taste test. We are going to taste this new sneak energy flavor. Is it? Is it going? There it goes. This new sneak energy flavor, live on the air. Man, stuck sponsored. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm. I'm sponsored. I'm a sponsored e athlete. <laughs> All right, so I'm not. New flavor here. Orange something, orange kabama bam, part of their new breakfast launch. They launched a cereal. Bitchy D, what up, baby? Does Malice get crippled with a debuff replenishment? I do not think so, Art. Oh, it's a vibrant color. It's nice off fuchsia pea. Head on over to. Sneakenergy.com. Use credit code Sparty at checkout. Let's try this in the in the live. Roll Tide. Fuck War Eagles. Hmm. Hmm. So it tastes a bit like Sunny D. If anyone knows or remembers that delightful drink of, of a bygone era. I definitely like it. I do think, though, that I like the peach and the mango ones more, even though I like on their on their own those fruits. I like orange more. Crims or uh, Weeb Lord, thank you very much, dude. Welcome to the channel as a member, my brother. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely has a sunny D flavor. It's it's definitely good. Um. What is this? That, that is Sneak Energy. And as someone from the EU, it's an EU-based company, my brother. Well, it's a UK-based company. I, I know my politics. But, yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. 
Yeah, Sneak is from the UK. So, here we are. Yeah, I put up that, that, that Dark Elf video. And people did not like my take on Lokir. For those that have watched it, let me just say. And I even said this in the video. They're all very fun campaigns. Lokir, just for me, felt the flattest because... He doesn't really benefit from the new slave mechanic as much as all the other lords. And um he he kind of I guess I don't really like Black Art Corsairs in the in the long form. They're my favorite unit next to Black Art of Nagaroth, but in the long game, like in the mid to late game, I just don't find them really Weeb Lord it's a Tarkov streamer that's sponsored by Sneak. Is it, um... Um... No, don't say it. Uh, fuck. Uh... He's Irish. And he always asks people, like, here's a question. Is Ireland in the UK? <laughs> Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibson. Gibbs. Gibby Gibbs. 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 Philip Toma, welcome to the channel, my man. Welcome to have you. Happy, happy to have you here, dude. But yeah, it's just that's my thing. That all the it's like I I probably should I should have made a bigger point. All the Dark Elf campaigns are stupid fun and stupid strong because their auto resolve is disgusting. But Lokir's felt the flattest to me, even though he has the most exciting start. Same thing with Grombrindal. He's the shittiest dwarf character right now. Because his, he's jammed up over here. It's not really an interesting start. If you're on harder difficulties, good luck, good luck supplanting Malekith. Like, it's just not a good... Um, it's not a good play, in my opinion. Uh, Corsairs with Hambos, though, are great with stock. But I don't like to play... I, you know what? That's another thing I never said in the video. I don't like to play Doomstack armies where I solely produce one unit. I like to make variety armies. Case in point. There you go. Um, so, all Corsairs at 100 mana... Is it 100 or 80? I'm on Ultra, so I, I forgot because I switched to Ultra with uh, Warhammer 3. <sighs> yeah, 100 man, 100 man unit fighting against Cathay and Vampire Coast was, was just not fun to me. I was just losing so much shit. Okay, so, let's take a look at our short victory campaign, because we're almost there. We have to destroy the Seducers of Slaanesh. We've gotten six of the following settlements. We need to raise, loot, occupy, or sack 13 more locations. Okay, Philip, play Malekith like this. Turn one, use the Ditka. That allows you to... Uh, dude, Rackhard is actually really cool. Uh, that allows you to increase, decrease your construction cost and it increases your growth. That's your turn one play right there. And right out the gate, you're going to be able to produce so much growth. And it's going to cost you nothing to upgrade all of your faction buildings. That by turn 10, 11, 12, you'll be able to take your entire, uh, your entire initial starting location... And bring it to like level three, level four, like it, it. That's so strong because you then you couple all of that with the uh, growth commandment and his construction reduction uh, passives, dude. It, Malekith is just an economic machine, just like he was in two, but it just feels so disgusting. Okay, so let's see. We should have got this guy. We're going to make a. A corn lord, I believe, now is our next thing. Varus Jorhul. My magic is yours. Um, and basically, what we're doing here, guys, we're just going to finish this campaign off today to start our next one. What campaign should we stream next? What campaign should we stream next? Oh, let's do. I mean, I kind of want to do a Dark Elf one. I really want to do a Malice one, but I feel like I'm more, I've already done this location. So I'll put some options on here. You guys can help me out. We'll make this decision together. Um, Dark Elves, Lizardmen. I don't really want to play Dwarfs. You know, it's funny. Is I don't like Dwarfs in Tabletop. 
but I actually like playing them in uh, in, in Total War Warhammer. <clears throat> You said it's kind of weak, not so fun to me in terms of... Anything. Oh, dude, Philip, totally agree. Totally agree. Low interactivity, but I think the fact that you can take the mechanic and really do a lot of fun with those Ditkas and really kind of maximize them for, say, Hellebron. Ooh, toasty-boasty. Um, I could throw Baton... I've, so on the list right now, I've got Dark Elf, Lizardman, and High Elf. I could throw... Do we throw Batonia into the mix? I haven't done a Skaven campaign in I don't know how long because I don't terribly like Skaven. I love vampires. I could do like a Vampire Counts Blood Blood Dragon campaign. Dude, I can't wait for Chaos Dwarfs to come out, Eli. Dude, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be, I okay, when Chaos Dwarfs come out, I will cosplay as a Chaos Dwarf. Vampire Coast could be fun. With like Noctilus. Slasha Direfin's actually... Dude, I actually really enjoy Slasha. There it is. Let me uh, put some lotion on. Guys, it's going to be hot as fuck. In fact, I'm going to turn the AC on too. Holy. Uh, Car Ohm 91. Because it is a campaign pack, it will have four legendary lords. I'm saying will with the cert like like the the weakest of certainties because Tomb Kings and Vampire Coast are considered campaign packs and they got four legendary lords falls into their policy of not trying to do DLC for DLC, but they've also said they've also said that's not our policy. So what the fuck ever. Go ahead and vote on that, guys. Um. Oh yeah, dude. Look at you, you hot Play bitch. On my side. I'm, I'm on your side, baby. We're we're in each other's side. Ooh, Gelt campaign. Uh, I've done Gelt, and I like Gelt, but I just don't terribly enjoy the Empire. I, I think, and I have a video plan for this. Um, the Empire without their knightly orders feels just so flat. Well, I'm sorry. The Empire feels like the Empire feels. But I feel like the Empire is missing some stuff with Warhammer 3. And I think that that's going to be the theme for the next DLC. Uh, I've got a video I'm going to be working on. Like, hey, you know, this is what I'd like to see for um, some Empire stuff. And um, I was talking on my Discord. And this led to me kind of having like a fever dream. Um talking about like, hey, I would love to see the Warriors of Chaos mechanic put in for Bretonia. And then one of my uh, Discord buddies showed me like, yo, some guy actually wrote up like a mock-up of that. And take a look at this. This Reddit post is sick. Basically, I'm saying like, what if they had the, what if Bretonia had a Warriors of Chaos mechanic that could take a Knight Errant all the way up to a Grail Knight with a, with a Val? And I would love that. Agent of Change. Yeah, 100 percent, right? Okay, so I think what we do here is who's this? Eh. I think we grab another lord because look at our income, right? That's just disgusting. We have pretty much this whole area. Maybe we jump back over there and and show malice what may. Um. Yeah, but you are not the strength rank one that I am. I think we pop out another lord. Don't I swear to God we made another one. Oh, we did. He's right here. 
Of course. Dream magic. Bring ruin. Bring ruin. Let's give him the Sword of Chaos. Let's also give him this. Although those are mere guard, and I'm gonna go corn with this guy, but whatever. It needs to be more corn units. Let's get some Chaos Warriors for sure. Chaos Knights in this army too. That's three Chaos Knights. That might be a little horny, but you know what? I'm a horny kind of guy. I can't, I do, I'm actually, I really dig Chaos Trolls. I really do. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three. Let's bring in, just make that an even six. That brings in this Metal Sorcerer. Okay. Real question is, do we also put a hero with him? Ooh, it's toss up between Vampire Coast and High Elves. So either would be, it'd probably be Eltharian or Noctilus. Yeah, guys, so I've been dealing with some shit with my little buddy here. Romano, Romano Cheese behind me. Um, last week, I gave him a treat, and it triggered some pretty gnarly diarrhea in the poor pup. And we we got that squared away for the most part. Um, no, we did not. What, what am I saying? So it triggered some diarrhea in him, and... Uh, I switched him to only eating kibble. His diarrhea wouldn't abate, and he would keep waking me up to poop late at night. So I was like, oh man, poor buddy. So we, I switched him on Saturday. Uh, he, his diarrhea cleared up throughout the week. It stopped becoming like soupy poopy. And I switched him into a, um, I gave him a, a, a different treat. I was like, okay, we'll try a little bit of this different treat. And that just triggered it right up back again, just poop city. And the poor little dude, man. Like, so I switched him over to a bland diet of just chicken and rice on Saturday. Things were going good. Yesterday morning, I was like, okay, you seem to be all right. Let's have, I'll give you a little bit of your kibble back. Nope. Woke up this morning with some diarrhea. So um, that sucked. So I'm picking up some, some diarrhea dog food for the poor pup. To quell his little tum tum, uh, I'll be making the switch over to Twitch with game with different games, not for Total War Warhammer. Um, I'll, I'm gonna probably for the next one, for the next campaign, I'm gonna restream so people can watch on either platform, whichever they want. Okay, yes, this much. Okay, where are you, Jorhur? Uh. Blue fires of hell. I haven't done 40k content in some time. I have not tried mild yogurt. This was expected. Yeah, main output. I'm not doing it for Total War Warhammer. I'm going to be doing it for uh, the big... So I had planned to do this whole big Twitch launch for... Dark Tide, because Dark Tide is going to have a Twitch integration. And I'll start doing some Vermintide on Twitch to just kind of like, we'll have some fun with that integration beforehand. People can get a sense for what's going on. Um, but then, of course, that didn't happen. We'll have to wait until November. So I'll basically be using it for um, Skull and Bones, other games here and there. Oh. Look at you. I'm gonna recruit all these fun units in here.
And Space Marine 2, when I play its multiplayer, that'll be on Twitch. Because, dude, Space Marine 2 is going to be so fucking fun. I hope. <laughs> all, all they need to do to not fuck up Space Marine 2 is make Space Marine 1 again. <laughs> like, it just needs to be the same thing, just a continuation, you know what I mean? Give me that trade agreement. Give me that trade, Mune. Alright. Okay. Skulls for the Skull Throne. Yes, uh, Philip, I, I played it on uh, on Twitch. That was another thing. I was like, okay, I'll play that game on Twitch. Dude, what? Two masters over here? He himself is the beater of worlds? Ugh. Okay, I think what we do is... Well, if I take that thing, it won't... I'll still have to wait. Magic is chaos. It's mine. It's mine. Um, I can't devote him, of course, because why would I want to? Why would I want to recruit him up at rank five? So Lord Zinch, metal, searing doom, and metal shifting for him. They will be yes, that he can dominate me. What? So I'm thinking I'll do this. Two of these will be Zinch Spearmen. These four will be Corn Dual Weapons. These bros will be... Ooh, do we do... What do we do with them? Do we do Corn Dual Weapon bros? Yes, Baldur's Gate 3 streams will be on Twitch too. I feel like I should have to do. I have to do Chaos Warriors with. A steadfast supporter. Oh, they're so strong. They're just so strong. I want it to be out of context. I want you to feel uncomfortable in my streams. <laughs> Not really. I want you to feel right at home. Right at home. Favorite campaign so far? You know what? I don't know. I do not know. I, I wish I had a good answer for you. Here's the question. Do we do Chaos Knights of Zinch or Chaos Knights of Corn or one of each? Going into a Skull Crusher and eventually into a Doom Knight. Thoughts, opinions, give it to me, guys. I want it. I want it in my mouth. things. I'm gonna give him another sparring champion, that'll be good. <sighs> so, you would think, you know, ultimately darkness, that would be a good idea, right? So, okay, we're, we'll definitely do one of Zinch. That's what seems to be the opinion, I agree. And I'm on the fence about doing one of corn as well. I, I just, you know what? I think I'm going to do it because I, I haven't, we haven't really played a lot with corn. Magic of chaos. Don't I have a corn one over here? Oh no, I'm waiting to upgrade this guy into a knight of corn and bleh. Oh, we upgraded this gold crusher. Okay. Oh, those, 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 those are the uh, regiments for now. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I'm going to do one corn. 
Yeah, the shields are so good. They're honestly, they're amazing. So the reason um, I don't do just Twitch is because I have 154,000 subscribers. 55, what is it? <laughs> what is it right now? <laughs> what is it? 157,000 subscribers. And I'm going to do it with lances, I think. No, I, like the, I, I always like the perpetual combat variant. Um, it, so if I do Twitch and just say like, hey, yeah, you know, I'm only going to be streaming on Twitch from now on, I'm shutting off those members that don't want to watch on Twitch. Um, so if I restream, the people that want to watch can watch, and the people that want to take part in any Twitch integrations can take part in any Twitch integrations. It's probably the best way to do it until I build a solid Twitch base that I can, like, that I only play those games on Twitch. Like, for example, if I want to play Baldur's Gate 3, um, well, Darkness, it'll be on both, is what I'm saying. If I, if I don't want to play Baldur's Gate 3, or if I want to play Baldur's Gate 3, and, uh, here, let me get this guy right here. And I'll do Cursor's Boon. This will have me give me a, a way to just kind of jump back over here quickly. Um, they're very different. They're very different. But if I want to play Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, I forgot that it go. I'm so stupid sometimes, man. I'm so fucking dumb sometimes. Um, if I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 and I want to take advantage of the Twitch integration. And then I want to put that onto YouTube afterward. YouTube will not push that out to my viewers as much because they're like, well, your viewers don't really watch this, man. So sorry, we're not going to push it out. And that's very frustrating because it's like clearly people want to watch it because they either enjoy watching me, they like the game or whatever it is, you know, like people like to watch it. So I fight a lot with YouTube's algorithm that, de that deems what gets pushed out to my viewers. Uh, whereas Twitch just says, okay, you're, you're live here. We've sent out the notification. We don't care what you're showing. And that's a big strength of Twitch that YouTube just doesn't have right now. Ooh, Karen Ka. Oh, Grand? Grand, 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 Grand. Oh, fuck your failure. You have failed me for the last time. Don't let it happen again. Have we not really? We've really not reached that. Oh. Do that. Excellent. Ready to ruin. Uh, I don't have an opinion of it yet. Which one are you, are you talking about? Something in specific? I don't want that. Here, I'm gonna shut off outpost available. Go fuck yourself. I haven't played a ton of factions that do confederations. <sighs> you bastards. I shall burn through you like a plague, Malice Dark Blade. Stay in the shadows. I don't really want to join your war. Really? You can't... You can't consider any high level lords as techless? Now that's some fucking rubbish. I have very little desire to play Kislev. 
Lord of Shadows. This was all supposed to be this really fun, cool way to jump over here and get the drop on Big Daddy, but nope. That's just not going to happen. How much further do we have? A long time. Okay, uh, where's this guy? Rather than sending him in, I'm going to go have him take out the... Uh, the Sarl over here. I figure that's probably a good use of my time. Let's do that. You know what? I've had like a, a I've had a desire to play Skyrim again. I haven't played Skyrim in an age. But I started playing. Um, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and dude, it is so fun. My magic is yours. Bring it to ruin. Failure again? You're just useless to me. Bring ruin. Yes. My magic is yours. Eighty-eight percent chance failure. Love it. Anrak, do, do we know when Vic, when Vicky three is coming out, dude? Is it is it a September launch? Because I would, I'd blow loads. I played Morrowind when I was super young, and I didn't really understand it. I remember, so I used to. Is it coming out twenty fifth of October? You are here because I did it. Let me send a message, please. Let me send a message, please. Violated the law. <laughs> I just, uh, I just messaged Paradox to hopefully, hopefully, um, so every time they do a launch, they do, they do paid campaigns, and I just said, like, hey, you know, I, I really, really, really love to be a part of this paid campaign. Like that's kind of like a big thing for for you, <laughs> strong bad. Uh, that's a big thing for like YouTube is trying to get, trying to get like paid campaigns that 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 mean something to you, right? Like, not a raid Shadow Legends, <laughs> but like, hey, yeah, you know, um, like I did the one for Chivalry because I love playing Chivalry. 
Uh, Chivalry was one of my favorite games when I was working at GameStop. My bros and I would all play it together. Um, so I was like, this is a shoe in I'm, I'm all about this. And if I can do one for for Vicky 3, I would love it. Like I, I So I messaged him saying, like, hey, I'll, I'll do uh, Let's Plays of learning of teaching people how to play Vicky 3. I will do one of... Uh, any kind of videos you want, any streams you want, just let me know. I'm, I'm absolutely down to do it. So hopefully they uh, get back to me and I can make that happen. An unholy alliance of man and elf. Um, yeah, we'll see. I kind of like... I, I kind of like... I was kind of snobby. Not snobby about it, but I was just like, hey, you know, I've, I've teach like a generation of PC and now console players how to play CK3. Please! Please let me do it. Because the big reason that I want to do paid campaigns with companies like that is because ultimately all of this is for me to get into the gaming industry, is for me to apply to the video game industry uh, in content marketing, in community management, uh, whatever it is, and get a job <clears throat> somewhere down the road. Right now I kind of, I kind of enjoy being my own boss. And... We still need four more turns on that. Hog Swoggle. Is there a growth one? No. And that's kind of the big focus for me is when you do paid campaigns, like for example, the Three Kingdoms one, I don't know if any of you guys know this or saw this, but I was, if you press F1 when you're playing Three Kingdoms, all those instructional videos are narrated by me. And that gave me a triple a game credit launch so when i apply to a video game company and they say hey um have you ever launched a triple a game i can say yeah actually yes i have here's my work that i've done on total war troy saga uh, saga troy total war saga 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 and here's what i've done for uh for 3k and like those things mean something because when you're trying to like get out of college and get into the gaming industry there are so many programs that give you um early not scholarships early um internships to get that 3k not 3k that that triple a credit it's like the gold standard of any time you apply for jobs in the industry <sighs> bellicor has a boner to pick with you Harbinger. so i'm kind of like worried <laughs> i'm worried to attack this guy on my own do we do it? Do we try to just do the Bell the Bellacor Malice beatdown? Oh, I can't even reach him. The first down. I'm gonna take the Twisted Tower real easily. Really, like. Oh my god, look at all this, dude. Farm on Gloucester. Like I got a Manticore, nice. Who? Now, did that? I've already had that. I've already, yeah, yeah, so that, that didn't count. Okay. That's a unique settlements. That's well, just a bunch of hog swoggle. Basically, we just want to get this guy to level 5 to make a corn champion. Bonnie, I did. But it was during a time where I just didn't have the patience to play Paradox games. And it was around the same time I tried to play CK2. So I played, I tried playing as Italy. I sucked. Then I tried to play a guided walkthrough of Germany. And that... That was good. That was better. But I still didn't understand the game, so I abandoned it. In fact... When I jumped into CK3, 
I was super against it. I was like, no, this is going to be a fucking waste of my time. I don't understand how to play this. This is so dumb. Uh, Surreal Beliefs and H for Havoc and Party Elite were all like, no, dude, you got to play it. Trust me. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I ended up fucking loving it because I just was like, okay, just get in there and, and put your head down and learn the game and learn the game and learn the game. And I did, and I benefited from it. So it was just one of those things. Um, I'm just going to shut this person down. Just get rid of everyone here. What? What do you mean? I can't... You jerk. German Spartacus. What's up, man? I'm good, Woody. How you doing, dude? Uh, I'm best impression, huh? Um, I don't even know what he would sound like. I... A precious reward. I didn't think about that. Um, what would he sound like? Let's get this thing. Marius Liedorf, known most infamously as the Mad Count of Averland, which, I mean, I know this lore, but I need to, relay, need to kind of refresh it here, was a late Elector Count of Averland, counted as one of the bravest, albeit most insane, journals within the Empire's armed forces. Not many men can be said to have waged wars against forests, swarms of bees, and half-imagined fishermen, so it's not without good reason that Marius Liedorf is known as the Mad Count. Uh, most known, eccentric and flamboyant nature. Okay, so those two, like, those two words, mmm. His bouts of screaming rage, his periods of melancholy, and his mercurial conduct at court. I don't know what a good impersonation of him would be, man. Uh, long stream today? Yeah, we'll be going for the next uh, two and a half, three hours. This victory is mine. The crown of domination is mine. I'm, I would imagine it'd be something foppish, because you know it's still, still at the end of the day, it's the empire, right? Dude, oh my god, the empire's in ruins. Chaos. The fact that you are even stood before me is an affront to my country. So, who calls? Who calls? The nation calls. I'm sure. The empire. All right. Uh, like, think of, like, the human in World of Warcraft, right? Like, I need additional mana, but then add a foppishness to it. I need additional mana! Like, just barking, too, at the end of it. Probably something like that. And then, but then correcting himself quickly. Like, I need additional mana! <sighs> Maybe not yet, though. Like, just fucking out of his mind. Okay, all of us. Oh, Frozen City can go up here. I should probably just be using this button. There we go. Yeah, of course, Rich. Anything to help out the bros? That suck my cess. Yeah, baby. Oh, I almost threw my mouth. But yeah, uh, did not realize how fun Tiny Tina's Wonderland is. Because <sighs> I was in the mood for something that's kind of like RPG looter shooter style. I almost went back to playing Destiny. But no path to glory for you, my sir. Unassigned skill points, Jesus Christ. You have everything, dude. What else could you want? smile. Of hell. Okay, two more turns in demon mounts. Hell cannon unit and war machines. Okay. Alright. Mm. Doctor says, yeah, Marius Eitor could be sound could sound like a like a blood elf. Oh, you want a peace treaty? <laughs> Nay, little boy. So I'm having a power outage. 
a scheduled one from 8 a.m. 9 a.m. on Friday to 3 p.m. when it's going to be like 92 degrees out. So I'm not stoked on that. I'll tell you right now. You son of a bitch. I can't. Ugh. Let me pay you off, dude. I've got the money. What? That's just. That's bullshit. God maker. Agent of change. Hmm. <sighs> He'd shut down the folly of Malifax. So that kind of hinders things for me. Can you please go and get this? Didn't I have one of you occupy? Uh, you. You, yes. Okay, you're gonna go occupy this. Good. The Blood Mountain. We're going to stop that production, get that money back, because I'm not going to just waste it. Two more turns, and we'll be that at level five. That'll be good. Harbinger. Denied. Where can you go? Oh, you can actually reach this place? Fuck you. Chaos awaits. Lurking. Can we do a layered ambush? Can you, if you're, if, can these guys reinforce each other if they're in ambush? <laughs> Basically, I'm, this is in range to reinforce this, to reinforce him. Uh, they'll only reinforce each other, and this guy will reinforce this. That's the important thing here. You will continue to destroy the Sarl. Would you like Throt? I don't want that Throt. Your military alliance is wasted upon me, fat rat. <laughs> Here are 15 rings of concentric fire we've built into the replacement. Right, so the auto resolve will go well then, what you're saying. I love that. Ooh, this is cool. That's nice. Yeah, I'll take that. I know how to put it on too. Ooh, the deadwood. Where was that? Prince Cure Deadwood, okay. Nice, lovely. Good. Now. We could just get this. These guys to occupy this target. That'd be lovely. We will hold out. No, no, no worries, Richie. Take your time, dude. Take your take, 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 take that time. Oh, it is to be a Titanic battle then. For the Raven Oh, dude, this is actually. <laughs> mm. No. Mm, this will not be easy. But I think it'll be fun, and that's what matters, right? Our first battle of the day, as it were. You can, actually. Yes. Oh, you put your buddy in a bad spot, bro. This is great, because now they get no choice. We shall do this fight, and I shall control this army. 
Uh, yeah, if you put outposts, it does build alliance points. Every turn they build a pass will be to regardless. You can do quests. Those will build your alliance points as well. I'm sorry, guys. Let me actually do this really quick. Link. An earnest disciple. Welcome, brother. Thank you very much for joining me in my journey. Two seconds, my bros. Sorry. I forgot to do this. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I not post that up, and if I don't, <laughs> fuck me, right? Uh, do you think we will eventually get an update for the old world faction? Yo, yeah, Bonnie the Bunny, absolutely. And I think and again, I got a video planned for this this weekend on this. I think the first one we'll get is going to be Empire, because Empire is the most popular. <laughs> what? Would you guys ever want that? I'll just play a fucking stream of me uh, typing. <laughs> I think the first one we'll get will be Empire because it's the most popular faction. And because it's the most popular faction, I think it's the one that's most likely to get like a little bit of love. And I think it's also one that really fucking needs it. I, I think Empire is so boring right now. Because like their mechanics don't really feel fun, they feel clunky, they feel, chitty, they feel chintzy and shitty. I just am not a huge fan. Have them just kind of swarm in. Champion supporting that line right here. Put you guys here. Put you guys here. Uh, these, I'm trying to keep them alive, so we'll see what happens. You know, Lazarus, I, I, I don't actually don't mind it because I don't have to spend as much time managing all those settlements. They might be bad at it, but 
it's passive to the point where I kind of prefer it because I'm like, oh, okay, have at it. You suck at it, cool. Well, it's better than me having to spend so much time. I'm already managing the Dark Fortresses enough as it is. I'd rather not spend all the time trying to manage all the other crap. See, and the problem is, it's bland by these standards. By its original launch standards, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, like, like by and large, it's still a really fun campaign compared to how it was in the beginning. But it's just, you now have so many cool dynamic mechanics with Slanesh and Korn and Nurgle. Eh, maybe not Kiss of as much in Cathay and all these fun stuff that it's like you go to play Empire and you're like, great. Carl Francis Galmara is like, it just doesn't really, it doesn't scratch that itch for me, personally. My coronation. All right, waiting uh, for our reinforcements to come in. I'm not going to be jumping fisticuffs down here. You know what? Maybe I should have, though. No, I mean, dude, this is not going to be fun to deal with. I don't have any way to jump into that back line. So I need, I need this reinforcing army to bring its shields to bear. Dude, Malice Darkblade is so fucking cool. Look at that color scheme, dude. Where is where is Mally? Where's Mildred Darkblade? Oh, it's just Doc. <laughs> dude, Ryujin, that's such. Here, hold on. Let's let's do this right now. Hold on. This this is what what it would sound like. Okay, so. This is Ryujin's comment for those watching after the fact. An entire stream of you typing. Then the very moment before you take it offline, you just go, you just say, I'm in, in the exact tone used for hacking scenes in, in movies, TVs, and uh, movies and TV shows. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this right now. Hold on. I'm in. Like, <laughs> yep. Yeah. There it is. I'm through their firewall. Uh huh. I dropped the Trojan. Using a bunny virus. Okay, I found the Gibson. And I'm in. <laughs> that was actually all words I typed. I didn't just type gibberish. <laughs> Magnetize that PC, get Roman and go. <laughs> All right. What the All right, let's organize this into less chaos, which is funny, all things considered, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got a nice line of warriors now that have shields, which will be my very, very front, my tippy top front line. Well, that's not true. This will be the tippy top front line. Spread Eagle! Spread Eagle. I don't know that mod. What does that mod do? Alright, where's these skull blazer dudes? Cool. You guys are gonna... Oh, they're in a really, like, commanding position over there. Like... Like, that is, like, 
That's hard. That, I can't flank that. Can I? No, can't. I can't even get in that back line. I have to basically bulldoze through. I have to overload a flank and bulldoze through it. Five percent per vassal instead of one. That's pretty fucking cool. He can look over walls. Oh, I love that. Yeah, the whole shield line's going first. Shield with shields. All the Zinch stuff is in the very front, followed by my basically my corn berserkers. Then I have them reinforced with chaos trolls to basically smash into the line. And Forsaken, I, I can't even use Forsaken to kind of get a wily play going. Alright, you guys gotta get up here too, please. And the wild thing is, I gotta be kind of careful because they have got so many bolt throwers. They've got one, two, three, four, I thought they had six. So still four, still not, not a small number. And what are these, these guys are all pretty jacked, won't they? Eh, 55 melee attack on bleak swords, god damn it. Doesn't it, though? Alright, you guys go over there. Your control group four. Uh, whole front line. Nah, these are just uh, normal ones. You guys will be two. Oh my god, I can't even, can't even highlight this. There we go. Of Scheming slaughterers. This will keep them in line. All right. Where's that unit? I'm going to land them so that I don't take any kind of flying damage as I move over there. Uh, I mean, just damage in general. And I'll get this whole thing. Yes, feed me souls, Anakin. <sighs> so I want to keep these guys alive because they can go to knights, and that's free knights. Dude, just look how sick of these guys look. I love it. This unending... Horde of chaos moving. Oh, dude, look at dad. Look at dad moving through everything. Beautiful. Beautiful shots. Maybe not in the running there, guys. Maybe we could slow down a little bit. Look at this guy, just like, oh, guys! Charge. Well, I guess they they can kind of tank the shots, I suppose, but I don't want them to. Oh, dude, just stopped just shy of it? Nice. My front line will start taking damage here soon, but that's okay. That's what they're there for. You know what the game needs? Like, I don't feel like this is very... Like, this is what? Like, hundreds of Chaos Warriors marching. It doesn't feel like... Like a big, like, stamping of metal and plate and clanking and, 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 and vibrations and stuff like that. It's kind of... I know if they start running, it'll get a little dicey, but... This should have a rhythmic pound to it, you know? Which can be taken in so many ways, if you think about it. Lust me down, daddy. Yeah, bat dude. Oh, I wish we had drums in this game. Oof! Hefty shots coming out. Alright. Let's 
run it in. Right click. Oh, no, that didn't work. I had to lock it first. Now, Alt, right click. No, it's not working. Everyone stop. Alt, right click. Yeah, that's what you want. When you lock the formation, Alt, right click, they're going to charge and match everything across from them. So they'll move as a cohesive battle line versus going one point. But I need to make sure that these don't sprint ahead. So there should be a spawn or spawn. Oh no, I got them. All. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I I pressed Alt right click, so they'll charge as one. Summer of Rage is over the. Good call. Four, come over here. Mount these guys up there, please. Leadership elements will all collapse on you-know-who. Take to the air, my sons. Where is he? Are you guys not going to just do it? I'm basically going to use the Summoners of Rage to crash through the line and force them to the back line. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where the fuck is Malice? Is he not in this army? He should be in this army. Oh! There he is. <laughs> I was like, where is this guy? All right. We'll use them to crash the back line as well. Black Art of Nagarond. Horsemen, and maintain that, please. Yeah, I, I figured that would happen. Okay, where's a good one here? Oh, uh, that is juicy. Right there. Pause on that real quick for me. We'll drop that right there. Dude, Summoners of Rage. Oh, God, that guy's just... They're just going to go fisticuffs with him. I love it. <sighs> Summoners of Rage, though, they don't need to do this. They can just kind of push through. Um, That's coming down right now. Okay, good. can do you guys over there please you guys over there please Oof. 
I don't have any way to replenish. Oof, saw that. I don't have any means to... I mean, this is the only thing I can do. Rod of Torment. It's a bounce spell, though. Dude, he went into Zarkhan mode over here. Super Saiyan. Yeah, just keep pressure and pressure there. And keep that on. Okay, good. Giant creature approaches! Run away! Run away from Zarkhan! He is a scary, scary master of death! Dude, look at this army just fiending around. I love it. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, move away, move away. Get over here and attack, attack, attack. Where are my dragon ogres? Good, Anakin, good. Come on here. Okay, cast knights. Back off of this, please. Come over here and reinforce. Is there anything to actually, actually like take a hit with? Bellacor, come dunk on, on the one who would <sighs> do you dirty. Oh, Summoners of Rage. Do this. Slaves to darkness. Marauders of Kong. That was a good one. Yes, take that, Malice. You son of a bitch, you have plagued my campaign. I have broken the back of your armies. I didn't really, we, I mean, in all honesty, we didn't suffer that much damage, to be totally honest. I think I kind of hyped this up in my brain as far as how this fight would go. Mm-mm. He has fallen. Decisive victory. Hundred and fifty four kills on dude, hundred and sixty nine kills on these guys right here. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, I'd love to see it. Love to see it. There's fifteen kills on these little maggots. How did Varus's frontline go? Can I see that? Oh, I suppose not. Oh yeah, I can now. I mean, hey, these guys. 70 kills for Marauder? That's pretty good. 109 on those, 74 on those, 130. Like, dude, those guys just held the line. Uh, the casualty replenishment rate, while nice, I'd rather take the souls. Release. Malice in the Underworld. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 30. Oh, yeah, baby. 
No, get that guy out of the chariot. I hate, I hate chariot lords. I know people are really good at playing them, I'm just not. Let me actually kind of outfit some of my dudes here. The first demon prince. Do we start going into the blue line now is a real question. Vengeance, what's up, my man? How you doing, dude? Foe seeker. I kind of feel like he needs more uh, melee attack, actually. <sighs> I'm finding that, like, my Winds of Magic, though, I wasn't able to cast, like, any spells, so I need the ability to boost my Winds of Magic. In fact, oh, that's why. I see. I see the issue. I see the issue here and now. Um, let's go ahead and do Windmaker. Lord of Shadows. Like you do. Yes, he is finally. Oh, he's he's had immortal, so I don't have to worry about him as much as I used to. Um Let's get that up, I suppose. 92 melee attack. Good fucking luck. Varus over here. Perfect vigor for Forsaken. Melee attack for Forsaken, Chaos Spawn, and Chaos Fear. Ah, it's not really that great. Because I don't use like, any of those units. In fact, there are only, there's only one spawn, so I will not be using that. I'll, I'll put the rest of that. I'll save the point. This guy here. Get that last point of training, I suppose. Magic of chaos. Okay, and details. Okay, talismans here. What does he have right now? Obsidian. Endurance. Talisman endurance it is. Armor. I don't have any cool armor. Alright, so moving over to this guy. Talisman gives him protection. Eh, missile resistance, I suppose, is okay with him. I'd rather put it on him, though. Because he needs... He's up in the air, so might as well give him something like that. And armor and weapons, I'm not too worried about him. This guy, give... I guess the Obsidian Amulet. Amulet, Terrifying Mask of E. Just a charge, full power. Okay, we're all good. It's everything. I might actually make this guy go into scouting because we have like no magic items. The Dark Master Ascendant. It's misfits for that whole army. Are, wait, wait, what? You may think that. Misfits is five percent for all units and army, dude. That is very nice. Good call. I thought it was just for him. The gods were wrong to spurn me. Spread the dark. Richard Armitage, you are so badass. Is there any armies right here? No. Then. Just kind of get over here and keep this thing going. We got 50k gold. Okay, using this ability. Okay, that's alright. That's okay. That's okay. Ice Tooth Mountains. I don't know why that. Contested problems. Okay, like what? Oh, the longship graveyard, those sons of bitches. Mountains of hell. What? Ugh.
Okay, perfect. Jorhul. Where are you, battle brother? This shall fall. One more level, and he becomes a corn lord. And I can't wait to make him a corn lord. Perfect. It has happened. Ah, 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 ah. I should just go here and take the Tower of Crack. Actually, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go... Ooh, we're going to go attack... Oh my god, those are chosen there? That's not the coolest place to attack, actually. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, we're going to take the Tower of Crack. And what we're going to do with it is subjugate. So that will give us... Uh, uh, two vassals. It'll give us the Sarl, and it'll give us uh, the uh, Ecstatic Legion. They're not, a, they're not a victory condition, right? No. I still have to go kill... See, I didn't go jump down here to Nakari, because I thought Nakari was going to get dumpstered by um, these guys, but it, it's not the case, and I'm going to have to go do it myself. Which is an easy feat to do. Real question is, do we make a Sorcerer Lord now? Right, because... Do no, we have a Sorcerer Lord. I've got a Sorcerer Lord. Never mind. I'm stupid. Okay, Hero's not moved. Okay. Of course you did. Fine, cool. The God of Magic we can do a Nurgle Sorcerer Lord. I don't have anything that benefits Nurgle. I haven't done any of those those specializations, but we can do it. You know, again, has anyone played Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Like I was saying, like that is surprisingly fun, by the way. Play in the dark. That is I know I brought it up. I couldn't see if anyone responded. Put that on mute. There we go. I'll allow it. How many of you bros are checking in here today? How many we got here? Sixty five of you. Man Bear Pigs here. Make sure you are liking the stream as always, guys. Those are always important for me. Ah, uh, yes. The demon mounts have been unlocked. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Dude, can these guys go? Oh, another rank uh, 7, right? Yeah, rank 7. Well, we'll get there soon enough. Wait, 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 wait. This has got Zinch Ascendant. Boom. The Exalted Dark Fortress. And I guess we'll do just I'm maximizing and come over here so it doesn't matter. The Dark Master. I hunger for souls. 217, not worth it. Northern Province is secured. Just do that. Lord of lovely, lovely, yes. Any of this anyone's homeland? Oh, it's a lot of person's homelands. Okay, so we're gonna expand more. And I'm gonna get replenishment in enemy territory, which is just juicy. Juicy boosy. Pursuing knowledge. 
We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. They will be dominated. You don't say. You know, Lazarus, that is such a good fucking call. I feel like I have bought all the Borderlands games that have never finished any of them. Honestly, not sure why. Dude, I, I totally agree with you. I think um, the last thing that I remember doing, uh, I definitely beat Borderlands whatever, the, the three. I beat three because I had a friend and we were playing it nonstop during Covizy. Um, oh, actually, no, it was before COVID. And, and that was fun, you know? Like, okay, we're playing this. It's great. We're... It's, it's kind of going somewhere. I didn't really play it when I was like, okay, they made all these DLC and I've barely touched or played the DLC, to be honest. Demonic Pact. I mean, all 40 plus one for all armies, that's going to help out with upkeep. Um, each act, I don't have any active Zinch gifts. Faction Leaders Army. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we don't have many good gifts active, I don't think. In fact, like I said, I want to. I think I swapped this one out. There we go. Any good Zinch ones, guys? Any good Zinch ones? What's up, Calvin, dude? Yeah, I, I just Tiny Tina just feels great even playing alone. This one for Zinch Lord and Heroes isn't bad. Enables warp from attacks to all units with his mark of Zinch is not bad either. Get Arcane Wisdom. I'm down for any suggestions as always. I don't have anything of Slanash, and it's my least favorite god, so. Screw it. Um, I bought it on, on Humble Bundle. Kind of on a whim. I may or may not have been high. And I so far, I'm loving it. I went with a spore warden. I wanted to go with a claw maker, marker, whatever the hell. But I heard that it's just bad. Like apparently it's like very it's like uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like, like playing uh Borderlands without the tiny Tina portion. I was like, eh, that's kinda that doesn't feel as fun. So, yes, good. Um, I didn't make a claw maker or claw, whatever the hell. I'm hoping that all changes though, and it, like it's more fun later. Yeah, magic stuff. It, the magic is really cool. It replaces grenades with magic, and there's a bunch of different types of magic which are pretty fun. I don't need any of these defensive buildings because it's all right by me. Dark sorcerer. Good. Yeah, dude, I'm not a huge fan of, of Slanesh anything. You play in the dark. That. <laughs> So Vampire Coast wins here, huh? Maybe we should put it to a total channel vote. There's only oh, 165 votes. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Studio. <clears throat> okay, create. Create post. What race should our next Immortal Empire's campaign be? Full. High Elves. Dark Elves, Vampire Coast, Lizard Bin. Ooh, I can add more. Ooh, we got one more. Wait, didn't I do that? Oh, we can add one more. Ooh, what do we do? So we got High and Dark Elf, we got Lizard Bin, we got Vampire Coast. I don't really want to do the dwarfs. Um, What's a good fun one that I should throw in? Another, another race, guys. Just one more race. We got High Elves and Dark Elves, Lizardmen and, and Vampire Coast. I 
Well, we've already done Warriors of Chaos. I mean, I could do Warriors of Chaos on there again. You know what? Actually, no. Uh, Vincent, I'm not going to touch Warriors of Chaos until that patch that comes out um, in September, which allows Archeon to Confederate. Then we'll do a Confederate one. Beastman. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Sisters of Twilight. Interesting. Okay, I guess we can't do anything with them. Are they still over here trying to break this down? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that's what they said. Give me those juicy souls, dude. Unbreakable boon. Oh, dude, what is that like? That's juicy for both of them. Give them regeneration. Oh, must we drink 20 for Demonhood of Zinch? Dude, we're going to be able to make a, a Demon of Zinch. I'm so curious to see what that looks like. I'm afraid it's going to be terrible, though. <laughs> Ever change. This guy's got like everything. <laughs> he didn't have immortality. It's the only thing he doesn't have. My first lord. Simpata, your lord is crushing it. Durthu? Oof. Uh, Daniel cannot know. Block army, just this guy's just been a just been a campaign troll. Oof, seven hundred and eighty two souls. Juicy devote to corn. Perfect. Jorhul. Become the devotee of corn. Jesus, that's a lot of fucking souls, man. <sighs> but I gotta do it. I really wanna see what he looks like. Ah, he's so sick. He is so sick. I that's the first time I've seen him. Aside from obviously the the what's it called, right? The trailer. Lord of corn. Oh god. He has a lovely accent too. Lord of Gorn. Oh, wow. hmm. Uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, it'll be Bellacor and Archaon that can do the confederating. I mean, raid after this, I suppose. You get a free 800 favor. And... Magic of chaos. I'd let him take my skull. Oh, commandment. A Kamehameha. Okay, all right, I'm down with that. Oh, lifted your siege, did you? Why can't I attack him? Oh, that makes sense. You're gonna like, there, yeah. Perfect, now give me your money too. 
Lovely. Now, fuck right on off. Waste my time moving in that direction and everything. What are you doing over here? Denied. Foolish request. For the Raven God. It is destined. Goddess forbids it. Okay. Agent of change. And I actually, I mean, I can send Bellacor down here to slap that ass. You dare beg time from him who would see that? Main threat, Shadow Legion. Yeah, that's me. You know what? I think we do it. I think I send Bellacor down here to just smash this out. Oh, nice. Cool. Oops. Good. Now see. Okay. Uh, no, keep spreading corruption. Just, just keep fucking with everything. Look at, look how much corruption is everywhere because of me. I am, I am the herpes of this game. As a move. Oh, this lord. I wonder if I could take this. I mean, with a full stack army, I don't think I could. Because, th do they have a defensive building? They don't. But it's giving them gore beast chariots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chosen. Oh, no, 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 no. Just one, two, three, four chosen. Austrian. Okay. I don't even know what I'd make here. Warrior building is a master. Alright, we'll do it. I just have so many of those warrior buildings. Oh, that's another one. Yes, definitely went for the Norse computers. Just kind of gobbled them up, man. Like, we have so many vassals. Like, look at this. It's tons. A precious reward. All right, guys. Uh, Roman's doing a little bit of crying right now, so let me take him out really quick to pee, see if he's okay. Oh, you attained a quite war army, huh? Kick us, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. What kind of lore do we do, though? What should our next lord be?
There we go. The community I have asked you, you tell me. So let me go ahead and take Roman out really quick. Go ahead and answer that. I'm going to play one of these videos in the meantime. So give me one second here. Potty bud? Gotta go potty, buddy. Let's go party. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Deep in the chaos wastes, a deadly battleground harbors dark promises. For its victor, great favor from their sadistic god. For the slain, damnation. In ancient Zambaijin, an accursed altar thrums with immense power. By Ursin's cataclysmic death cry, its eternal seal is weakened. Countless swords of fallen warriors, now laid bare. A ruinous harvest craved by the dark gods. An unmissable opportunity to earn Nurgle's favor. Festus the Leech Lord, the Dark Apothecary, answers the call of decay. The world will rot with the Plague Lord's blessings. The souls shall be claimed, and with them, Apocalypse is certain. But what horrors await the world? May the greatest champion prevail!
What a little toad. He's like, mm, I know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poop. That's what I thought he had to do. Like usually he won't whine when he's just kinda chilling in the crate. Unless he's like, yo man, I gotta go. And he's been having some uh some poor diarrhea. So I thought he was gonna do that. But he didn't. He was mm, just kinda walk around. Just, just chilling. I'm like, you little bastard. Does this give me any... You know, I was hoping it would be like, Oh, you made it to rank 5. Here's a super jacked lord. Nope. That's not the case. Unearthly reflexes. That's not too bad. Uh, so you guys want Slanesh. Okay, I could be down for that. I, as much as I hate Slanesh, they have such a cool looking lord. Such a cool looking lord. And let's go ahead and recruit him. And we haven't gotten any really good ones. Hideous Visage is alright. Unearthly Reflex is probably the best of the, of the lot here. But it's really... These are the only ones I've really been getting. We could get a Demon Prince, but the Demon Prince has been super lackluster. Spread, Spread me like a butter cake. What? I kind of want to go grab those Mirror Guard. Uh, what, what, level 30? I still don't have that. That's just a bit of hog swoggle. Um, how is Sigvald in Immortal Empires? I think he's actually pretty interesting, but he's still a Sigvald, so he kind of like suffers a bit, in my opinion. Um, I think that he will... I Not will become interesting. I don't know. I, I guess, you know, he's kind of down there for me, but he's a, not a terrible playthrough. In fact, like, I was surprised at how much of his stuff layers on top of itself. Like, he has a lot of really cool abilities that he can benefit from. I just... Sigvald in general, I'm not a huge fan of. So what are we working on again? Okay, Demonic Pact, then we'll get a Sensuous Branding. ITP for our uh, um, Aspiring Champions too will be pretty nice, as well as Strider, which is all right. I don't think we've even touched this one. Causes immediate damage to the target army. Yeah, I mean, I just haven't had a need to sacrifice 2,000 souls for a sudden burst of damage. I guess that's kind of like the bad thing. And one thing I never really considered is I don't want to touch any of these other than this one. This one, the Cursor's Boon is so good. Why even use the others? Is all. Ever I think we get over here to the, bl the Black Rock. Take that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to just occupy since it's level 4. War and slaughter. And you guys remember the good old days of like, and I, I know you can do this now, um, but just like the good old days of, um, damn, is he exhausted or something? Why is it a 50-50? Yeah, I got it. Um, of World of Warcraft where you did just Scarlet Monastery runs. Oh, when life was better and simple. So you open the wrist, Holy Saint Knight, by using this. The Cursor's Boon. And if I do this, I select an army on the map, and I open a rift in their province. So, for example, I've opened this rift here, and then I just take the one that Bellacor starts with. And you can jump to any rift after that. 
Gotta grind that tabber, dude. Yeah, man, that tabber was so... That was such a, like, like a cosmetic flex, you know? You're like, I did it. That's right. This tabber's mine. Uh, no, but it'll work on the heroes, on the armies that you discover with your hero. No, no peace treaty, Malice. You walked around, now you're going to find out. <sighs> okay, let's jump on down and destroy Nakari so we can kind of nix that on our uh, objective list. The four token. Hmm. Lord Kanjura. What is this? Oh, it's like magic. Close victory, really? Oof. I don't need the money. The money is just, that's just a turn's worth of income. But that's a lot of souls. I think we raise it. The unfortunate thing is it was a it was a tier four settlement. Ugh. It's not like it's gonna cost me much money to like raise it back up. I think we I think we'd raise it. You guys agree? Dirtbag, uh, probably not. Next up is, uh, is Bretonia. I can maybe I'll put that on the list here. Raisin or Sacken, or, I mean, just Occupy. Uh, I don't know if we can before zero. Sack, then raise next turn. It will drastically reduce the amount of souls we get, though. I'm pro whatever you choose. Well, we were going to take out the Blighted Grove, too. Screw it. Raise it. And resettle it. Actually, why did I do that? I always forget that resettling cost me, like... Never mind. I was going to say, oh, do it, then just recolonize it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely should have done that. I totally forgot about that. I always fucking forget about the bullshit um, colonize mechanic. Oh, we did. Okay. Nice. <laughs> well, I did quick save before doing this. I think we're just going to occupy it and I'll raise the other locations. That way we just get a really nice dark fortress right there. And I can just push out the rest of the crap. Mulligan. In Zinch's name. Keep your wits about you. Change beckons. In the quaint little frozen over town. <laughs> it's beautiful, lovely this time of year. I'm going to destroy that and put a defensive building there. Tis not worth it for me. Did he get seven? Okay, good, he did. 
Let's do this, and I'll give him fate marked. Brand of Char. Oof. Yeah. I've only begun. Okay, I can blade shield. I think I just want to. I actually just want to finish off his deadly blade. Even though it doesn't put me closer to Deadly Onslaught, I just want to get him higher up in his melee attack. Although, doesn't Nurgle reduce his melee attack? Yeah. Melee defense is actually not that high. That's a problem. Yeah, we'll square off his melee defense. He was fucking eating a string of the towel I keep in his thing like it was pasta. Like, Oof. did you put Parmesan on this? This is delightful. Okay, so is anything around here that's going to be a threat if I jump? Nope, nope, nope. It's going to be a shit show down there. I love it. <clears throat> you are totally correct. I'm, dude, we're so close to that. Um... This guy still can't go up. Okay, whatever. So let's go over here. Upgrade all this then. None of these can. None of these. These guys can though. So let's put you guys into great weapons, and you guys into warriors, and you guys. Ah, oh, this one can. Boom, doom knights. Not you though. Hello, Nakari. Lord of it's me. I see the winds. Yeah, absolutely, Dragon Family. Strength four, five. What was it again? Five. Trolls are not armored yet, unfortunately. I mean, I could just do it, but I think we, uh, oh, no, 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 we continue the siege. Blood for the blood Dwayne the Rot Johnson, dude, that is so fucking good. Where's like the main army here? I will put out your eyes. I will rip out your Well, that's a very intense way to say things. Well, it's not a, it's it's just a lord. I'm gonna go block it. But I don't see another army. Like there's this guy. And they have to, this is a, a slow pass. And I just want to take like some time to knock a little bit off that army. Uh, we're doing Slanesh with him? Okay. Um, why does he have so much corn? So we'll give him. Oh, you got none of that. These. Sonesh, huh? Sonesh, Sonesh, Sonesh. Two trolls. Alright, we'll do a little tour of the lands.
Um, I can't remember. Does this, a specific Chaos Sorcerer go to the Lore of Slanesh? I can't recall. And let me know. I'm going to go pee real quick. One sec. What's up, Hugh Gedney? Shadow and death. Okay, um... Karn. That's funny. I find that to be hilarious. Well, Chaos is going to cool down on spells. I kind of like that more. Iron skin and burning body. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go uh, Chaos Familiar. With Gailas Dawi Breaker. And he... Let's make sure. Yep, devote to Slanesh. I see it. And I think, I think honestly, I'm just gonna do. I kind of want to do the lore of Slanesh. All the lore of shadows is better. I think lore of Slanesh is more fun. Good. 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 Okay. So you're over there. You're over there. Hero's not moved. Oh gosh. I don't have the money to afford it. So, never mind. Is there anything you just don't have? I don't want a military alliance with you, fat rat. So we got about another hour left in our stream here today. I'm going to end it just slightly early because i got to go pick up some uh, anti-diarrhea medication for little puppy here. He's like looking at me. You talking about me, man? You talking about me? I know you're fucking talking about me. All right, do you want to pack and let's get that sensuous branding. It is mine now. All right. Blood. Well, this is an auto resolve without. Oh, you're gonna take my champions across, you bastard ass! You quick save that. I didn't lose anything. Ah, uh, I lost those aspiring champions. You sons of bitches. And occupying battle. Oh, I thought I could subjugate them. You serve cool. Well, and now I have all these guys as my vassals. Jesus, Crocodrac is all beat up. Oh, here he is. He's got. He took Prague? That's pretty sick. Corn marked. Deathbringer. Oh, you seal savagery. 
Icon of Endless War. Oh man, that's 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 bueno. Love that. Infernal Champion. Honestly, I'm just gonna put a I'm gonna pop a little bit into scouting, but uh Serian Doom, finish that off instead. Bellacore. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Chaos awaits. Don't bore me. My magic is yours. Bring it to ruin. What? Harbin. Save. Attack. Declare war. Yes. And just ooh, you guys want to see this fight, though, don't you? I should probably fight this. He actually might beat the crap out of me. I gotta be careful with him. We should fight this. We should fight that. I was like, ah, let's just let's just let's just talk, take him out. But a duel of fates. All right. So what I think I'll do here, I'll take the summoners of rage, put them on our own location, and beat some doors down, quite literally. Oh, crack that ankle. Felt oh, great. Yeah, I think I'll take these. Pop them over here. What? Oh, thank our deployment. Put them right here. These. Actually, I think it's all my monstrous units. Nah, we'll rush the gate over here with them. Oh, dude, look at this beautiful, this beautiful high elf location. <clears throat> We'll use these guys to break down one of these gates. Uh, you and you. Here. Sinister Tower's pretty good. Oh, that's good to know. I think what I'll do is this. I'll let them eat that, eat those shots. Perfect. Summoners of Rage, go break these down. Just take these shots. Take these shots. Oh damn, dude, these things are rough. Holy crap. You weren't kidding. Look at Nakari just like waiting. Wait, I'll fuck you up right now, land.
spreading insanity. Exalted hero of all. I am eternal. You're having a good shot right here. They just keep moving around. Yeah, it took a long time to go off. God damn, man, that is rough. Where's Nakari at? <laughs> He's up back there, okay. Summoners of Rage. No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, they didn't destroy that gate? They were in snooze mode because I thought they destroyed the gate. They did not. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright, melee attack reduction on this big boy. Drop this over here. I did not finish Chaos Gate. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to land on him. I'm just trying to like clear up all the crap down here. Okay, now I swarm him. Actually, I've got enough damage mitigation, I should be fine. Oh, just dumpstered him, man. I was pretty surprised out there because I was afraid the car was going to burst me down. There we go. It's going to be a big W over here.
Kind of beat my army up a little more than I thought it would. Done and done. Well, end of that battle. Juicy and sweet. One of these warriors can become a chosen now. Mm -mm. Love to see it. 60 kills are there, just ripping through demonettes. Dude, that's a lot of money. No souls, of course, because it is a... Uh, is this a... No, this is, I'm just going to raise this. Tyrion owes me. That's so funny. Soul of Damnation, baby. Now, I don't think they have any more stuff outside of this, so it'll just be a, a, ma a means of just pretty much destroying them and... Okay, 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 okay. I was just gonna try to. Evie Poo! Do we ditch something? Dude, these guys are. Oh, they're so close. They're 400 experience away. Good lord. Do we ditch something here? For the soul of damnation. I could ditch maybe a chaos troll. Maybe even these the, the the spawn. Lord of Torment. Yeah, actually the Forsaken. Let's get rid of these first Ac or or maybe dude, maybe the plague bearers. But I think the Forsaken really are just kind of hindering me more than helping me. Oh yeah, Chosen Corn, baby. Choose me. Choosy moms, choose Jeff. Yeah, I think we break apart the, the Forsaken because at least the spawn are giving me a little bit of like push this is right call me master i could do my plague bearers now if i wanted i just need the technology god maker can i really do that right now that's pretty cool now we're going to take out toracker and Call it a day for him. Could you just be my friend so I don't have to attack you, please? Ever change. Uh, I think we wait one more turn. Preposterous. Yeah, that's what, we're, that's what we're trying to do, is take out Nakari. We, and we also need to get six more uh, settlements sacked, raised, occupied. Which, I think was an easy accomplishment in the next 45 minutes. 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, you full army there? Control save. Can I reach it? Uh, well, that's just not going to be worth it. I thought my army was a little bit more replenished.
Dude, he's so strong. That honey badger, what's up, dude? He's such a like beastly lord. Like the, the even the AI is like, well, with with a pretty diminished force, you're not gonna make it. Doom Sage, how are you, brother? What do we got right now? We got 57 people checking in right now. Make sure you are liking that stream, my guys. Always house in the row. Pincer's Blade, okay. I think we just put another warrior back into this army. Oh, we lost an aspiring champion. Let's get an aspiring champion back in. Oh man, I'm sorry, dude. How do you like it, Forge Ghost? Yeah, I'm definitely noticing that. Going on a victory tour. I mean, do I get more knights? I feel like the knights are just kind of. Right, what do you guys think? Do we get knights? Do I do I do I stock up on those guys? Must get into the two knights with the stack. Few of those are pretty. Huh? I am the harbinger, the fort token. The of course he would. Why wouldn't he declare obtrusive war upon me? We'll do doom knights. That's a good call. And I mean, they're also one of my favorite units in the army. God, the new ones that they did for Age of Sigmar are so cool looking. Can't make corn cab with the she Lord. Correct. Yeah, there'd be Doom Knights for sure. Okay, let's finish him off. Let us crack him upon the rock. Ooh, this might actually not too be too this might not be too great. Do this though. Save it. Do it. Eric. Oof, Peric indeed, dude. I'll subjugate him for sure. Let let him get into his own situation. Ooh. Let me see if this goes towards it. It didn't. Uh so I don't think we subjugate it. I think we actually just completely sack or raise it. Because I don't want to, I don't want to worry. Uh, we'll, well, actually, we'll probably just set, uh, raise it to the ground. I don't want to deal with fighting the High Elves in this campaign. Doom Sage, I have not. What's the reinforcement bug again? <sighs> Slefion, the Keeper of Secrets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're not in a good spot. Victory is all that matters. The four token. Well, we'll see what happens. Master.
I think we can start going into attrition, ambush, success chance, income from looting settlements. Red line or blue line, guys? What do you guys think? Blue? Okay. I don't even know what blue line to go with. Look, what, what ability to go into. I, the only thing I can think of here is... Uh, I think the only thing I do here is maybe looter. Uh, ambush I'm not going to be doing probably a ton of. Attrition casualty suffered from all attrition. I'm not really dealing with attri attrition. And server dive, recruitment cost, eh, 15%. It's already a full stack army. I'm not really worried about it. So I think uh, either ambush or looter. I, you know what? That's what I was thinking is getting chaos vanguard. You know... Yeah, I do want the upkeep. I uh, actually don't think he gets an upkeep one. Oh, he does. Same by the slaughter. That's right. You know what? I'm going to do Chaos Vanguard. Because it's going to make my existing backbone stronger. Because non demonic infantry is going to be buffed. Who sleeps? Oh, nice. These guys go to Chosen with Halberds. Oh, you finally go to Chaos Knights. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm rolling in the moon, eh? And we have a we have a fourth army coming up. Oof. Economy is bonkers, man. I'm gonna what, let him, I guess, wait for one more turn. Oh, you have two full stacks out of nowhere? That sounds like it wasn't, it's not good for me. This might help out with trade income. No, I did not get it yet. We still have to do five more settlements, sacked and raised, which can be done. Well, because there's not a lot of Zinch in this army. I'm going to do barrier hit points on him. Well, how much is he? Just, well, there's a little bit of Zinch. Not a lot, though. I don't think I don't think the barrier hit points thing is going to be as beneficial for him. Our Arcane Blaze is fuck off. Um, Spirit Warrior might be worth it just to get his up. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's just it's always better to just get the hero, the barrier replenishment rate. Because they're calves, so especially if they're Doom Knights. Yeah, we'll do that. So much shit. Watch. <sighs> we'll see how this goes, though.
I'm going to Pyrrhic victory this. Lose my whole army. <laughs> yeah, I knew this would be kind of an issue here. Because I was like, man, he's pretty beat up. This is going to be a very pressed fight. I think I'm really going to have to use, like, Bellacor's <clears throat> mobility here. <clears throat> if this doesn't work, I've got a plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. It's the daddy army, though. I think I maybe rush this person and try and destroy him. Chosen of Sinch! Horns of War! Chaos Warriors! God, they're so sick looking. Look at those guys, man. Chosen of Corn. Oof. Oof, baby. Basically, just gonna try and blitz her down. Oof, baby. Knocking her around, man.
Did I dumpster him that fast? Damn. Of course, such a beast, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got these full this rest of this army over here, though, so it's gonna be kind of wild. Good, the Lord's fucking finally dead. Back up so I can fucking pit of shades of shit out of you and crap. Yes! Charge! The wind's turning 
All right, Rick, have a good one, man. Dude, with his mitigation abilities, I think I'm all right here. Right like that, damage mitigation. Right like that. Didn't bring the rest of the army in. Yeah, he just sold that whole army pretty much. Like, that was pretty fucking gnarly. Do not underestimate the Bellacore. Oh, beautiful. A beautiful win. A heroic victory. A heroic one. I don't think we lost anything. Yeah, everything at least stayed alive so we can at least squeeze right out of this. I think. We only lost 45. 45 deployed, 45 losses. Oof. Oof, that's just juicy. Daddy likes that. Might have lost a spawn. That's okay. We can lose a spawn. We can lose a spawn. No, well, spawn stayed on. The juiciest of souls, too, no less. Oh, a chef's kiss. Oh, you just kind of eked into that one. Stay in the shadows. I have not. I mean, I don't really want to do that. Welcome. Let me I'm not going to do these alliances. Oof. I die before Posteltian, I didn't expect that from you. Blackrock's besieged. Sorcerer Lord of Char. Herald of Change. This is going to be an interesting situation. Trollheim Mountains. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay, so we can probably have some fun here. Daddy Bellacore, leave this land. Oof, two levels off that too, man. That's nice, baby. That's gonna help out so much, my my uh, dude. Look at that; these guys are gonna be so girthy now. Oh yeah, another one coming up to the uh, dual weapon side, or the chosen. Now the real que the real question is though, where do we go? Because I, I need to reinforce myself a little bit here. something. Save. How much damage? Futile. I mean enough. Oh, that, those are... Oh, damn it. I thought those were gold. That's bronze. Stupid. Well, they're just recently brought up. So I, it's kind of worth just sacrificing. Just kind of throw them all out to the wind. Um, the other alternative, though, is to do that to... Oh, my God. That's a lot of winged lancers. This one I think we'd actually win. I, but I could wound this army instead and probably just completely smash it out.
What is thy will? So never, never, Doomsage, dude. Get weird with it, brother. I expect no less from you. Either way, you've got to come back. I just don't know where you go. True chaos awaits. Eldritch fire. God maker. Dude, look, that guy is so sick looking. All goes to plan. Here's what I think I do. Let me try this again. I'm gonna save again. Lord of Shadows, I am Shadow. I don't know. I thought I might be able to just, like, get him close enough and do the damage here. Eight. Yeah, something I'm just gonna go... Well, bam. It's just two warriors. We can we can really get those quickly. And they just had rank, one rank on them. And I'm just gonna put... I'm just gonna stuff this army with some stuff. Like these. Seek your destiny. Lord Conjurer. Yes, give me the authority. And he can't do it yet, but if we get the souls, he can. A precious reward. Zine Tomb Prince is okay. All right. Call me master. I mean, good luck fighting that shit. That is a girthy defensive location. Um, and you could probably actually even. Nurgle is best as precious. What gives it to us? So we're gonna save and hope. Ever change for the Raven God. You 
die today. Just kind of limit a lot of their stuff. Then go take this location next turn. Magic of chaos. Hey, Doomsage, our first donation of the day, dude. Thank you very much, man. Ten Australian ducats. Dollary dues from down under. Thank you very much, man. Very, very kind of you, brother. What, I'm, it's, it's because I convinced you to drink a gin and tonic. <laughs> bonus there. I'm going to get the recruitment cost button. Alright, save. Let's see if we can make it a turn without him attacking. Otherwise, we'll roll back to Do this. Try to tempt or threaten me. Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh, you broke the siege. Good call. Probably shall now come and eat your butt. For Bellacor has a thirst for conquest. A lesser call, mayhaps. <laughs> no, Lord of Torment. I obey only the winter. Follow Ogu's winds. Lord of Come back, I want to play. Dark Master walks. Perfect. And it's, it's 134 souls. Uh, you know what? Why'd I do that? I gave the flaming attacks ability to the wrong character. I was like, oh, I'll do this, I'll stack it up, and I'll get some fucking kill. Get some flaming attacks. Nope. Mess that up. Big time. Big time. B-I-G time. Now I'll end the turn. Yes, yes, I know you're declaring war on me. Uh, you know, I'm not a beer guy. I used to be. I used to be a huge beer guy, dude. But I got older, and I drank so much when I was younger that I, I developed an allergy to, to hops. So IPAs, anything like that, really fucking kills me. But... I can drink Pilsners, I can drink Stouts, and I can drink uh, Porters. I pretty much like anything on Nitro, though. That stuff's pretty alright with me. Oof, Evan even agrees. Seducers of Sinesh are gone. Belacor. Shadow. Lord of Kor. You may think that. Exalted of Kor. To war. Excellent. Eh. 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 They're just trolls. Meat guy? Oh, I'm a meat guy. Alright, brother. New fear? Really? Uh, I mean, I don't really... The 
I made mostly of meat. I mean, in all, in more ways than one. Alright, it is done. Vanguard has been completed. This... Sure. War and slaughter! An artifact of rule for the great conspirator. Man a decisive victory indeed. Enable magic attack for these guys. And raise it to the fucking ground. Hagrafe is gone. There are mysteries here to uncover. Man, we've done it, guys. We have we have effectively beat this campaign. <clears throat> Fucking skill points, man. Route marcher. And let's just kind of keep him all the way east. And sack these. And be done. I wish that I could, uh. I wish the Nurgle one gave her punishment. We're done in a bit, buddy. Don't worry. I know you want to get out and get all rambunctious in the hood. I do love that that uh, Azazel took Prague. I, I think that's really cool. Yeah, I gotta go get him some uh, anti-poop stuff. Okay, come on, man. No siege can quell our salacity. Ugh. I'm not gonna bother with you. <laughs> what a noise! A cork. <laughs> yeah, just jam it on up there. Yeah, he's had a little bit, uh... He's had some diarrhea lately, so I just gotta... Plug the hole, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, what I mean, what I mean? Agent of change. Yeah, that'll be a light and easy victory there. Just head down there. Yeah, man, he's been fighting it the last, like, week or so. And it, it's all because of me. I gave him just the wrong treat, and it... <sighs> he was on a chicken and, um chicken and rice diet and that was working out just fine and then I kind of got a little like oh well you know he seems better why don't I give him um some kibble and the kibble was rough it, it hurt him the first take you seem to get right there uh, right there Fight for oh you're pretty good yeah go destroy that Yogurt, right? So what kind of yogurt? You were telling me that earlier. And how many more? You got one or two more? Just three more. Done. And just do this to blitz. Oh, I put a little bit of... I put a little bit... Uh, But thick? No, I put a little bit of pumpkin in his food. Ow. Plain Greek yogurt, plain yogurt yogurt. Mild, not full. Okay. Yeah, he just been he's been fighting stuff the last like. 
walls. The last um week. So I gave him one treat, and then he started getting better, and I gave him another treat, because I'm trying to train him with obedience training right now, and it's hard to do that when you've got, like, pretty much no treat incentive. So... For the Raven God. Right here. Your Destroy it. Uh... Just raise it. Army receives plague, like you do. Ooh, the sort of change. Look at that. Seems like even those chaos spawns. I like that. Yes, I win us powers. This is wise. You may call me Dark Master. We must God Maker. Tempest survive. Harbinger. Call me master. Um, yeah, do you that and just mind. get a. I don't have really any benefits to any of these guys. I Nurgle's the closest one. I'll just do the. And the giant, I suppose. Just again, we're just trying to finish off the campaign right now. Follow Ogu's wins. So just two more. So that's one here and one there. Ooh. And turn. Boom. We did it. We did it. We completed a campaign together, my bros. Oh, one sec, guys. It's the vet. Let me give him a call. I'll uh, answer real quick. Hello. Okay. Yeah, the vet just called me like, yo, don't give him anything. Just give him the food you're going to pick up with us. Because that will slow down his all of his diarrhea and everything. I'm like, cool. Let's get it done. Because I... I just don't want the little buddy to suffer. He's like waking up in the morning at, at night like, yo, man, I gotta poop. Boom and bam and boom and boom. And we'll raise it to the ground. Guys, I have never completed an Immortal Empires campaign. This is the first time I've done such things. Only the strong survive here. Exalt it through slaughter. Take this. And there it is. Raise it. All burn before the might of chaos. So do I get something? Like, does, it, does something happen? Do I have to wait a turn for it? Oh, it's got a little check mark. That's it. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> well, Dub skis all around. Winds of magic powers are plus 30 per turn. So does that appear? Yeah, there it is. There we go. We did it. I didn't get an achievement. That's kind of boring, you know? But... All right, let's go ahead, roll some credits here. I got to get on over to the vet before they uh, get mad at me. So I got to go pick up some stuff here for Roman. We do have a new member and a donation I got to give thank yous to. So let's give some quick thank yous out. Let me log in here to see what those were.
Doom Sage, thank you very much, man. And you're one of the donations here. So thank you again very much for that donation, my brother. Um, ooh, Evan, I didn't... Oh, that was five days ago. This is Blaze! Uh, Weeblord69, though, becoming a new member of the channel. Our only other... Uh, not like donation, but like thing of the day to give thank you to. So, uh, well, I guess a direct thank you there. I, I always give you guys thanks. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being bros. Thanks for coming into the stream here today. Thanks for having some fun with me. Um... I almost respect my leash. But um, we're going to run that poll. We'll see what the next campaign we will do. We'll probably start it on Thursday, if not Saturday. Um, Friday, I'll be probably not working on anything because they're shutting down the power. It ain't that nice. But all right, guys, I got to get going over to the vet. But as always, thank you so much for watching here today. Make sure you wash your hands, stay safe, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you bros on Thursday with some more uh, Total War Warhammer 3s and Mortal Empires. Fairly well. Kick Kiss, thank you very much for your help again. <laughs> Buh bye Thank you, Doomsage. Richie D, have a good one, man. I'll, I'll, get a, I'll get answers to you as soon as I can, brother. But again, guys, have a good one. Take care.